Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, July the 15th, 2013. I do apologize for my absence the past couple of days. It's something I have to deal with. And then we're looking today at the uh, NASDAQ, and I'll be showing you some more information here. Remember, I talked about this on the last video, uh, mid last week, and I showed you guys that the longer term picture and, and was just not a, a strong place to be buying. And today we've got basically the same thing. There's really nothing that's changed. So I, even though I've missed a couple of days of videos, there's nothing that's altered here. So I want to be sure to point that out. Uh, some people were asking, you know, we have this high point here, then we have a higher high here. Is it now time to be bullish? And the answer to that question is no. And here's why. If you're looking at a trend and you, you want to know when you should be buying or selling, uh, there's many different ways to do it. You could look at many different various uh, signals that I've, I've shown you in the past. But the main thing here is the high point, the low, the high, the lower low, the lower high, the lower low, and then now we have a high point. All right, does that change anything? No, because what you have here is lows going down like so, and highs from here to here going up like so. That's sideways moving market activity. That is not a bullish condition. If you want to be bullish, you need to see something happen. You need to see a high point taken out. This high point here is taken out by this one. Now you need to wait for something, and that is a pullback. And that pullback will give you an opportunity for a buy opportunity on the bullish side if it stays higher than the previous low here. So. What you would want to do if you were to say, okay, now it's switched to bullish, you need to see the trend go from this downtrend where we have confirmed lower lows, lower highs, so forth and so on. And then you see this move here. Now you need to pull back to give you a series of high points that are higher and low points that are higher. And at that point, you could be a buyer and then look for a move to go higher like that. Uh, that would make sense. But now I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying that's what you would need to see if you were bullish. Uh, another th uh, condition that could happen here would be simply this, where you have this move here and then this move here. And at that point, you would simply see that this is nothing more than a fake rally to the upside. It's not sustainable and so forth and so on. Uh, there's many different ways to show you that, and I've shown you several over the past few weeks. But another thing I want to point out here, if you look at the activity you've seen for the past eight days, you head straight up to the upside. Uh, and that does not uh, something that's normal. You would typically you see uh, five days to the upside and then, and then a down day and that kind of thing. So whenever you see a great number of days to the upside, extremely overbought conditions on the ultimate oscillators and things of that nature, RSI, whatever it is you're using, uh, you should be cautious. And that's one thing to, to keep in mind. You'll notice back here during this time period, it had this nice rally going on here. And then we just took off to the upside and there was no pullback whatsoever. Kept going, kept going. What ultimately happened to that entire rally? It got completely removed. So all of this that happened from this point here up was just completely removed. So this point here, now anything that comes off of this point, you're not missing a single thing. Let it rally. Let it do whatever it wants to do. The end result, you will still come back and test that. And at that point, you can say, well, maybe we have a bullish trend developing if you get a pullback that gives you a higher series of lows and so forth and so on. You have to wait for the chart to set it up. You don't go chasing markets that are running higher with extremely overbought conditions just because the news is telling you that it's a good time to buy. I disagree with that completely. Now we're going to take a moment to look at the London Financial Times Index. This is a chart that we're watching very cautiously here. Uh, you'll know that back during this time period, let me get the tools again. Back during this time period here, we were calling the top in global markets as well as the U.S. And we saw global markets actually sell off substantially and take out a major support line, a previous low uh, that was set and came down. We simply erased the entire thing, made a lower low here. Uh, and that's very important because you've seen that in Europe, you're seeing that in Asia, you're seeing that. Uh, in J Japan, the Hong Kong Hang Seng Index, um, BSE, where, wherever you would be looking, you're seeing the same conditions um, for most of them. Uh, I think uh, there's a couple that didn't, but for the most part, you're seeing this setup, which would indicate the potential for a market top. And that's important because if everybody else is topping, then the U.S. would also be topping. It would just be the U.S. is the strongest, and so it would be the last one to show it, but it would still be doing it. Uh, the main thing here I talked about on the FTSE, uh, I think it was last week, I showed you that this over on the longer term picture is setting up a, right now, setting up for a head and shoulders topping pattern. And that's very important uh, because this would be our neckline. Let me grab the tools right here. Between this low close here and this low close here would be our neckline. So we would measure that. Like so, which means this would be the final shoulder formation. We look for it to start to roll over here, which we expect to find uh, relatively shortly at this level. Uh, and I'll show you on a six point chart in a moment. But the main thing here, note the high point here and then this lower high here. You see we're trending down right here. Momentum, same time period. We're just moving higher. Bearish divergence, not sustainable. Again, you're doing the same thing where you did before. Big rally. No, we're not going to pull back ever. And then we just give it all away. That's the same situation we talked about before. And I'm saying the same 
same thing still up here again. Uh, it's not something to be a buyer. We've had some sell signals, but no confirmation develop. If you look at the chart, you can see the black arrows indicating uh, opportunities that we've seen. Uh, one here, no confirmation. Another one here, no confirmation the next day. Another one here, no confirmation. Just keep waiting and watching, uh, but don't be long. You've taken out the high. That's one thing. You've done that. Now you have to do something else, which is test, and you have to test and hold that support. You have to hold this support here. Don't take it out. And I don't think you have that actual potential here because again, as we put it out before, no hammer candlestick formation, which means when it's tested, it will fail. We told you the same thing back here. Okay, here we're looking at the London Financial Times Index, the FTSE, but this is the six month chart. Each one of these candlestick represents a day worth of trading activity. And you can see what we're looking at here. Lots of, uh, move to the upside here. And then we just kind of move sideways for a bit here. We make it an attempted rally here. Note the high point. Higher high over here. This is showing a bearish divergence, not sustainable. It simply comes right back down and we give it all back. All of this rally simply got given right back. Then we come up here and we do it again. I don't know what happens? We ended up coming back back and giving it all back and then some lower than the previous one. Again, not a sign of strength, not a bullish condition whatsoever. And if we look at the chart, kind of step back and look at the overall picture, what we're seeing here, we've had a rally that's been going on for a long time and then at some point it tops. Well, there's different ways it can top, but one of the most common is that the first shoulder formation is made, then the head formation which stands higher than the shoulder, then you sell off and you'd like to see it sell off lower than the previous low. That would confirm the um, peaking signal which you start to see more sell pressure develop. That's why you're getting lower lows between this point and this point. And so you can see that's developed here and now we come back up here and we should look for this to start to peak at roughly the same level we'd seen before. It's not to the penny, it's just roughly the same level. And so we're there now. So if we start to roll over here, that type of thing, and start to move lower, this would be nothing more than a head and shoulders topping pattern and a very troubling signal for global markets. Again, I want to point out next line would be from this point here to this point here. We would draw this out like so. And then we would measure the distance from the high point down to the neckline, measure that out mathematically. And once you actually had a close, a price activity comes down here and closes below the, the neckline, you would confirm that's that overall topping pattern and you would measure this distance out mathematically and subtract it from this point here, which would tell you how much further you had to fall before you actually had some kind of a, a support or a bounce or something of that nature. But anyway, this is a very, very troubling chart to look at that right now. If you've not been to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free and all we ask in return. Please refer a friend. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.